Howdy partner. So you want to learn how to replace the gas struts on a truck bed topper? Well you're in luck. We're going to show you today. So on these truck bed toppers, over time the gas struts give up. These are the same ones that you might find on a minivan's hatch or anything else. When they, when they give up, it doesn't hold it open anymore. So this can fall, which can create a safety hazard, and it's just downright annoying. Now with this chariot, 2001 Dodge Dakota, I want to make sure my gas struts work properly. So when you have them wear out like this, you lift it up, then you go ahead, take any sort of wooden stick, whatever you got, and sort of mount it up there. This is a pretty easy job. If you come in close, you'll see that at the top of the strut, there's going to be a little metal pin. All you want to do is pop that. You don't even have to pop it all the way off. Just some, and you apply pressure and sort of pull it out. And it should just, as you work it out, it should work off the edge. On the bottom, you're going to have the same thing. You're just going to go ahead and put a screwdriver in. You need a flathead. Put it in there. Sort of pop it open a little. Work it off. And you come right out. Now on these struts, if you're lucky, they'll have a model number. So this says SUSPA C16-08054. I went ahead and put that on the internet and managed to get the exact same model and make. So I know it's the exact same one. And it's 100 pounds of force on both of them. So it's the same model number, which is pretty easy. These are not expensive. Um, for a set of them, it was $16 for two. To put it back on, you have these pins like you done in the last one but you actually don't need to pry these open. So you want to make sure that you have it angled the right way, which was the thicker part on top. And then you go ahead, just snap it in. Make sure that it's facing the right direction. You might need to open the truck a little bit. And then I'm gonna have a loud and then snap it in. Now that's just one side, that one I removed earlier. And with just one, it won't quite hold it open, but if we hook up the other one, we should be set. It's important to remember you need to have eye protection and any other sort of protection on here while you're doing this, just so you don't injure yourself. So go ahead, put it here, snap the new one on, down here, lift it up, another loud noise. There you go. Now we can close it. And we can open it effortless once more and the chariot is ready to race thanks for watching you want to watch more videos about how to do stuff go ahead and tune in to mr greg's how to i like all the likes and comments thanks